Yeah, well, I'm Lasse Odegaard. I come to your city, especially invited by your federation, to uh, take part of your first congress or training camp. And uh, of course, this is a necessity for the whole growth of the whole society of dancing. Uh, the organization is too early for me to say something about. My job here is more or less to feel what is necessary for the future for this city. And then we have to have a talk about what can be done for this city. And uh, after two days now, I'm uh, quite uh, got quite a lot of information uh, through the knowledge of the couples. I see the trainers how they are taking information. So I start to understand quite quickly what level the whole city is on, and what is necessary to do to uh, create uh, good quality for Russian dancing. It must be the first level and then how to bring the city to the international level. Experience of training camps goes a long time back. I was uh, one of the first in the world who organized international or national training camps. So I was the inventor of the German Open training camps. I have uh, done a lot of this type of work. So for me it takes a couple of minutes I, I realize what level we are on or coming to. And this here, this training camp, is the first stage. To just to get the training camp organized and going is the first most important thing. But of course now what is very valuable is to start to talk about how to organize it or how to bring quality into the training camp with different departments for the teachers, for the couples, for the judges separately and also how to develop with new methods the future so we are educating all three departments to see a long-term plan and not a short-term plan so what is important why is important that this training camp is going for the first time because from my own knowledge and from our own experience and other top colleagues, we know that the first training camp is the most difficult training camp to organize. Because most of the home trainers are not willing to share their knowledge to other trainers in the city. For two reasons. They don't want to hide, they think it's the secret, is one. But in the end of the day, it's a psychologically problem. The psychological problem that all these teachers are not educated enough and high enough to understand that sharing is actually make the dynamic of development of themselves, their couples, and the whole area together. It's quite simple. I'm from Norway. We believe in teamwork. Nobody can make anybody themselves. We have to stick together with the knowledge to create a team of experts who can help that couple to come out on the top. To couples to improve is a very important thing, but whose responsibility for the improvement of the couples? I have discovered through different countries that many times this is not the couple's problem, it's the society they live in. And especially the trainers and judges have to educate themselves 40 to 50 percent in front of their couples. So here I feel that the couples are hungry, but I need that the, uh, the trainers must educate themselves much higher to be able to help the couples to grow. But it's not only the trainers, this is uh, also self-responsibility to the couples. How they take the information, how they use the information. But if the information from above, that means from the trainer, or from the judge's eye, if the qualified of the eye is not high, the signal back to the couples is not good enough. 
So here we have to talk about the whole package of education. After the three days teaching here, I feel the area which needs first to be developed is the state of the mind of all levels, means judges, the trainers and the couple. What I mean with that is my master B. Lurgan, he said to me, is the state of mind creating the state of the body, which is creating the state of the situation means really simple. The thoughts in the mind have to have alternatives and become more open to be able to be more flexible to try out different methods. The couples and the trainers seems like they are a little bit stuck in one direction and therefore they are blocking themselves and the couples. So, to educate that there's different ways to do things and give them alternatives is the change of the state of mind. can be through, done through a different type of method. The other way is that the couples on the body also can open the body to uh, create the senses more open and therefore they are also more sensitive to take different information. So the education of the dancer's body to open them up is now also very important. Well, I have said some uh, wisdom words from my side. Of course, all of you people out there who are watching this website, it's your choice what you think is good or not good. But for me it was a nice experience. I thank you all and I hope to see you also in the future. Bye bye.